Alzheimer disease. Here is a cross section of a normal brain. In the case of advanced Alzheimer disease, there is a generalized shrinkage of the brain tissue. There are two important findings in the brain of patients with Alzheimer disease. The neurofibrillary tangles inside the nerve cells and amyloid plaques between nerve cells. Let's start with neurofibrillary tangles. As part of the cytoskeleton, microtubules play an important role in the formation of cell shape and transportation of important nutrients within the nerve cells. In healthy neurons, there is a natural protein called tau protein, which maintains the integrity of cellular microtubules. However, in Alzheimer's disease, the tau proteins are abnormally hyperphosphorylated. This hyperphosphorylation process makes tau proteins inactive. And as a result, the microtubule loses its natural integrity and starts to collapse. The hyperphosphorylated tau protein aggregates to form new pathological structures called neurofibrillary tangles, which distribute throughout body nerve cells. Let's go now to understand the other important pathological finding in Alzheimer disease, which is the amyloid plaques. In the healthy brain, there is a natural protein that crosses the nerve cell membranes. It is called amyloid precursor protein or APP. Naturally, this protein undergoes regular turnovers by two enzymes. The beta secretase enzyme, which cuts the APP from the external side. And the gamma secretase enzyme, which cuts it from the cytoplasmic side. This degradation process produces short fragments of a 38 amino acid lung peptide. The resulting 38 peptides are easily metabolized and eliminated from the body without any harmful effect. Similar situations occur if the new fragments produced are 40 amino acid long. However, sometimes, and for unknown reasons, a mutation occurs in the gamma secretase enzyme. This mutation results in the production of 42 amino acid peptide fragments. These fragments accumulate to form hard, sticky, insoluble clumps called amyloid plaques. These plaques trigger disruption and destruction 
of the brain tissue of Alzheimer's disease patients.